The way we decide to treat uh, any patient for cancer is first to uh, unequivocally make the diagnosis of cancer. And that needs to be done with a biopsy and some piece of tissue or body fluid is removed and examined by a pathologist. And only then are we sure that it is cancer that the person is facing. The next step is to analyze the location of the spots that are found in the body and also the pathologic material that was removed in the biopsy and be sure that the cancer originated from the lung. Many people uh, have cancer that appears in the lung, but it started at another site of origin. You may have had a colon re uh, operation two years ago for cancer. It then shows up again as a spot in the lung. That person does not have lung cancer. That person has colon cancer that spread to the lung, and the treatment is uh, geared to the cancer of the colon. What we're talking about for lung cancer is the cancer began in the lung. And again, we, we learn that from the pattern of spread and from what the pathologist tells us. The third determinant is what we call the stage. Every kind of cancer is uh, systematically looked at in, in, in a patient, and we determine the size of the tumor, whether it's found in lymph glands or whether it's found in other organs in the body. The fourth thing that is done to choose, to choose therapy is to examine uh, the tumor tissue that's removed from the biopsy in the pathology department. The first decision that's made is whether a kind of lung cancer is called small cell or non-small cell. And if it is non-small cell, there are two major kinds, one called squamous cell and one called adenocarcinoma. Each of those different types I just mentioned are treated with a different chemotherapy agent. The last thing that's done today, really only for the adenocarcinomas, is to do genetic testing on the tumor, not on the person, and to analyze the DNA of the tumor. And by analyzing that DNA, we can sometimes find that certain drugs can be very, very helpful. Conversely, if that DNA damage, genetic damage is not there, we can fairly accurately predict that the drugs are not going to be helpful, and we can spare people from getting those treatments.